Hey there, this is Red, back with another episode of Red Plays. So the last one did not go well. Um, Rhino Expert is what I'm trying here, and Rhino schemed out on Thor really quick. So uh, we're going to give it a try again, because that's probably was like a two-round game that <laughs> went pretty fast. So uh, we'll give it another shot here. So we got Thor with our Justice deck against Expert Rhino, and we're going to see if this time it goes better. So let's get going. Actually, I don't know if it could go much worse, but... Uh, if you, if you want to watch me lose fast, and I put those videos up there because I don't win all the time, like, so you should see when things go bad, so that way you know how not to play. Like, you can follow those examples. All right, um, let's look at what we got here. So right now we've got five cards out there, and the only one I really like potentially is for Asgard. So we're going to get rid of four, um, and we'll get four more so that's a better card that's a better card four five all right so it looks like that's going to be our starting hand and we're going to go off looking for our hammer uh d d d hey the hammer wasn't on the bottom which it has been a lot of the last games there we go there we go all right so how do we want to handle this so the four asgard has to be done as Odin's son and the Defender of the Nine Realms, which is fun, cannot be done as Odin's son. So, um, let's use. Let's see, if we could use. Oh wow! So let's see here: three, four to get out Lady Sif. So let's do that. Let's see how that works out. Well, first we're going to do our, we're going to shift over to Thor. We'll do our Defender of the Nine Realms. So Defender of the Nine Realms has got me going to look for a minion. So we'll go look for a minion. All right. Got Assault, Master Plan, Tough, Tough, and Hydra Mercenary. All right. So Hydra Mercenary comes out. Um, the second part of Defender of the Nine Realms is I get rid of three Thwart, so Breaking and Taking is going to go. That is the great thing about getting on Defender of the Nine Realms right at the beginning. Um, and then the second part is Hydra Mercenary came out, so Thor gets two cards. All right, one, two. All right, so what I think we want to do is we're going to want to get our hammer out there. So there's our hammer. Um, I would kind of like to play Lady Sif. She's going to cost... So I can either play Lady Sif or I can get my Helicarrier out there. Well, I can get my God of Thunder and Helicarrier out there. I think I need to do that because that sets me up for later. So we're going to use our strength here to get God of Thunder out. Can generate an energy resource and then do two, three, and get the helicarrier out. All right, so at that point in time, Thor's gonna attack and take out the Hydra Mercenary, and we'll be done. All right, not too bad. Draw Thor back up to four. One, two, three, four. Didn't do any damage to Rhino, but we got some stuff out on our turn. Okay, so now we're going to be back to Rhino's turn. So first part, we're going to put a threat on the main scheme. Second part, Rhino's going to come attack Thor. Thor's going to take a beating. You can take four. All right, four points to Thor. Not too bad. Now the next one is where Rhino, I draw a card, Rhino attacks again. Let's see what happens, actually. Um, no, he's just going to prepare to attack again for a lot of damage. So he's got the charge, so that means next time he's coming at me, he's going to hit me for six, which is a lot. All right, but that ends his turn. We're back over to Thor. All right, so we're in a place to actually do more stuff at this point, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have our... Our hammer's out. We've got another couple of extra resources out there. 
Uh, we've got a hammer throw, so we can hit, Thor can hit the Rhino. So I've got a choice here. I can get Nick Fury out there, which I think is going to be a better situation to soak up some of that charge that's going to come across, because that's going to hurt. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to do one, two, three, four. And we're going to get Nick Fury out there. So Nick Fury is going to do, let's see, I can do two threat, three cards, or four damage. So I could do three cards, and that would let me do my hammer throw. Um, but I think we'll do the four damage and take four off of Rhino. All right, next up, both Thor and Nick. Sorry, can't call him Nick. He goes by Fury. Um, both Thor and Fury are going to attack and hit the Rhino. So we're going to hit him for three, four, five. So he's going to be down to six total because he's at 11 right now. So we're going to drop him down to six. Four, six. All right, we're going to hold on to our hammer throw. We'll be done. We'll untap all this business here. And I'm going to draw three cards. One, two three. All right. Rover to Rhino's turn. So first off, Rhino's going to get a threat on the main threat, then Rhino's going to come attack. Uh, Nick's going to step out in front. <laughs> Fury's going to step out in front of the attack. And we're going to take one plus six is seven. So Fury's got two health. Rhino's got overkill, so we're going to take five. Why do I have a one on here? We're going to take five. Two, four, five. I put a one on Thor like he was a minion. What was I thinking? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. All right. Um, the charge is going to go away because he just ran over Fury and beat down Thor. So we're going to draw a card now for our encounter card. Encounter card is the Hydra Bomber. We'll go ahead and put a threat on the main scheme for the Hydra Bomber. And because Thor's out there, we're going to get two cards. All right. So next up, we're going to come back to Thor's turn. So as part of Thor's turn, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play Defender of the Nine Realms. So Defender of the Nine Realms, as we saw earlier, I'm going to go digging for a minion. So, oop, another Hydra Bomber. All right. Let's see here. Um, because Hydra Bomber came into play, I'm going to get two cards. One, two. All right, we've got lots of cards now. Now we just got to figure out what it is that we want to do. Um, so I think the First thing that we're going to do is, let's see, we can take out a Hydra Bomber. Yes. So we're going to attack. We'll take out a Hydra Bomber. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a hammer throw. So one, two, and three. Hammer comes back to my hand, I do a hammer throw. So hammer throw is going to do eight damage to a minion, and then I get overkill, so six of it's going to go into a rhino. So that will be just enough to take out rhino. And we'll go on to rhino level three. All right, rhino level three starts with 16 hit points. So I probably should have not taken those chips out of there, because he's back to that anyway. Um, when he comes out, he's going to get toughness, and I'm going to get stunned. Oh, we forgot when I did my uh, my defenders of the... I need to take three threat away. Okay, so the break-in should be empty. All right. Um, hammer's back in my hand at this point in time. We've got Thor, and he's stunned. All right. Um, what other things can we do? We can get Asgard out there. 
We could do a concussive blow, but we're stunned, so I don't know if that does us any good. Um, let's see, I think getting Asgard out there is probably the right thing to do. Yeah, I think we'll get out Asgard. We will... It's going to leave us with our hammer throw in our hammer, which I don't want to get rid of our hammer. So we're going to flip over to Odin's son and be done. I have a tough time with these. These tend to turn out badly. So there we go. Um, I have hand size of five plus one. So I'm going to get six. So I'll go three, there's four, five, six. All right. Let's go over to the Rhino side of the house. Rhino is going to put a threat on the main scheme. He's going to see Odin's son out there, so he's going to scheme. He's going to scheme for one. All right, so we're up to two. And I'm glad I drew that card right there. Let's not draw another one. So our encounter is Stampede. Um, it's Alter Ego, so he's going to Surge. Card is... Sandman. All right, Sandman's going to come out. And it's the whole toughness crew. So they're all tough, and I'm stunned. It's not a great combo. All right. Um, we are back then to our hero side. So on our hero side, Thor's a little bit hurt. Um, I don't have anybody that I can bring out to take damage, so I'm a little bit afraid of how much damage I'm going to take from the Rhino next turn. So I think what I need to do is heal. So, but if I heal, well then I, maybe I can use a Haymaker to get rid of my Stunned. Alright, let's heal as Odin's son. That's going to give me back four. So four comes back. And I'm back up to five. Um, let's see here. Hero action, hero action, hero. That's all hero stuff. Um, I guess at that point we will flip over to Thor. We'll use the helicarrier to bring out the hammer. Um, actually, hold on. Before we bring out the hammer, let's do a lightning strike. So it's a it's a hero action. So I can use my, my Helicarrier and my God of Thunder if I'm not Ariel. So let's stick it, let's, let's read this real fast. So it says, hero action, spend X resources, deal X damage to villain and each minion engage with you. This attack ignores tough status cards if you have the Ariel trait. So I don't have the Ariel trait. So therefore it would not ignore tough status cards. So if I do the Helicarrier and I feed it one, that assumes that I'm not ignoring tough status cards. So and it's a hero action, it's not an attack. They would take damage though, so both of these tough cards go away. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I think we will do our Defender of the Nine Realms. So we'll do Defender of the Nine Realms. Actually, I probably should have done that before I did the God of Thunder, but all right, we'll do Defender of the Nine Realms. I'm gonna look for a minion. And the Shocker's gonna come out. All right, so Shocker's out. I get to remove three thwart, so I'm gonna take, or three threat, so I'm gonna take that off of there. And I'm gonna get two cards. One, two. All right, uh, we can let's 
let's see here. So what we're trying to avoid is a whole bunch of damage. In order to avoid a whole bunch of damage, what I really need to do is probably get Jessica Jones out there to soak up a hit. Um, in order to get Jessica Jones out there, I'm going to need to spend three. So there's one, two, three. That gets Jessica out. Um, then I, let's hold on to my hammer throw and get my hammer out. I'll hold on to the hammer throw. All right, Jessica is going to, I guess she's going to, yeah, see, I would have been better off if I would have saved that attack. I would have done my nine realms first, then done my attack. I would have done one to shock her and he would have died, but. That's passed at this point. So Jessica Jones is going to attack. She's going to do two to Shocker. So she's going to get one. Shocker's going to take two. And then we're going to be done. All right. So what are we drawing here? We're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four. Oh, we need to get back up to five cards. So I'm going to draw four. So two, three, four, five. All right, we're sitting on a couple of hammer throws. Okay, so it's the villain's turn. First thing is we're going to have a threat go on the main scheme. Second thing is, is Rhino is going to come with an attack and Jessica Jones is going to step in front of that one. So he's going to hit for five. That's enough to take Jessica out. All right, next up. Sandman and Shocker are going to attack, and they're going to do five. Ouch. That's going to take me up to a total of ten damage. And then we're going to draw an encounter card. The encounter card is False Alarm, so I'm going to be confused. Okay, that's not too bad at this point in time. Of all the things for me to be, confused is not horrible. All right. Uh, so we're back to the hero side. So on the hero side, what do we want to do here? Um, those go on side schemes. We can, we'll be able to do one hammer throw. Okay, so the first thing is Thor needs to attack and get rid of the stunned, I think. Let's think about this. The other option would be um, I could do my haymaker, then use that to do the hammer throw. My haymaker I could use to take out the shocker. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're going to spend, we're going to use these two to do the haymaker, which is going to do three damage. All right, for that three damage, we're going to lose our stunned. All right, stunned goes away. All right, next up, we're going to attack. We're going to take out the shocker with our attack. Shocker's out. All right, we're going to spend three to do a hammer throw. Our hammer is going to come back to our hand. We're going to go through the Sandman and into Rhino. So we're going to do four to Rhino and go through Sandman. All right. At that point in done. At that point in time, we are done. And I'm going to. Who did I start? I think. I remember what I had that turn. Jessica was out. I played one, two, three, four, five, five cards. I think I started as Thor, so hopefully that's not a play goof, but I'm going to flip over to Odin's son. And then we'll be done. All right, turn so on tap. I hope that's not a play goof. All right, so I'm going to get five cards. So I'm going to go up to six. One, Two, three, four, five, six total. There we go. All right, so it's going to be Rhino's turn. We're going to put a threat on the main scheme. 
Rhino's going to scheme because Odin's son is out there. He's going to scheme for three, so we're up to five. That's a little bit painful. Then we're going to draw our encounter card, and our encounter card is... Oh, man. All right, Odin's Avenger. So I exhaust Odin's son. Or I discard my hammer from my hand, which isn't that bad, but then I would be stunned. I think we'll do that. We'll discard the hammer from my hand. Uh, this goes into the discard pile, and I am stunned at that point. So I am stunned and confused. All right. Um, so we're back to our hero side of the board at this point. Mm, let's see how that works out. So first part is Odin's son. I'll get my hammer back. All right. Let's see here. We've got five out there and I'm confused. I'm not going to be able to drop a mat. Ooh, holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. I can do a lot of damage in a lightning strike. Or I can save the haymaker and then do lightning strike one two three four so i'm gonna do seven either way i think all right so we're gonna flip over to thor um what are we gonna do as thor as thor we are going to well let's see here if we stay as odin's son we can We've already got our hammer this turn, so we can't go back after it again. Actually, the lightning strike is a hero action, so I need to be over to Thor to do that. All right, so we'll go back over to Thor. Um, I'm going to have a big hit from Rhino potentially coming up. But I've got four health, and he's hitting for four, so that's not a good combo. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're going to um, we're going to do a haymaker. That gets rid of our stunned. Uh, let's get use that to get our hammer out. We're going to hit Rhino for, what is that, three? So he's down to nine. Oh, might as well lift that there. So he's down to nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Um, do we lightning strike for two? I think we might as well lightning strike for two and see how that goes. So we will one to activate it, and then we'll use our two here to lightning strike for two points of damage. So Rhino takes two more, he's down to seven. All right, so we're gonna be done. And we're gonna draw five cards. So one, two, it's gonna get an additional encounter card. And shuffle these up. Yeah, this isn't going as well as I had hoped, but I think Rhino Expert and Thor, I think, I don't know, I think Claw will be a much more interesting combatant for Thor than Rhino is. Just a tough time dealing with that single thing, especially the Justice deck. I've got some things in here to deal with uh, threat, but they just don't end up being very useful most of the time. All right. 
So we're going to get back up to our five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see if Thor can make it through this round. All right, so first thing that's going to happen is we're going to put a threat on the main scheme, so it's up to six. Next one is Rhino is going to come attack Thor, and Thor is going to have to block. All right, so we'll see what kind of boost we get. Get a boost of one. So what we're seeing is he's doing five. Thor's got a defense of two, so he's going to take three. So I'm at 13 out of 14. We are almost dead. All right, so next up, we're going to get our encounter card. And we already have one sitting out there because we had to reshuffle our deck. So the first encounter card is Shadows of the Past. So Loki's going to come out. Get Loki. He comes out. Put Loki here. And then we have the Family Feud comes out, which is going to get an acceleration token. And it's going to have one. So one, two, three, four, five. It's going to have five on it. So two, four, five. All right. A minion came into play. So Thor gets two cards. Okay, so that's that's good side of Shadows of the Past, I guess. All right, so let's see what our next card is. And the next card is Ivory Horn. So Rhino's going to get beefed up. He's got an Ivory Horn. All right, so we're back to Thor. All right, can we do seven damage as Thor this round? I believe we can. So we can bring Nick Fury into play. So there's essentially... Two, three, four. Fury comes into play. He uh, does four damage to Rhino. We then, we can't let Fury finish off Rhino because Thor's been working this so hard. So, oh, that's funny. I can't actually finish him with the concussive blow because I can't deal the damage. Oh no, this is going to be such a problem. I can't take him out. Wow. Okay. Oh, we got Fury. Oh. Shoot. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, I'm looking at this. In order to do the concussive blow, I need a physical to deal the three damage. So I can confuse him, but I can't take him out. Oh, man. Okay. Um, darn it. All right. Um, Fury can attack. And, no, no, Fury can't attack. Fury needs to thwart and take two off of the break-in. Yep, that's the only thing he can do. Um, next up is, I think we need to bring out Thor's helmet. So we need Thor's helmet to give us plus five more health. And then, I don't have anything more to do with these cards at that point. Actually, let's use those two. Instead of bringing out Thor's helmet, we'll bring out the Enhanced Reflexes, which gets three tokens. So one, two, three. We'll use one of those tokens and Heimdall to get out Thor's helmet. All right, so we got all of our stuff out. That's kind of good. Um, and we're done at that point. So we're going to untap, untap, untap. All right. I thought I had it in the bag, but apparently I don't. That sucked. Okay. Um, we're over to Rhino's turn. So Family Feud has an acceleration, so we're going to get two. 
All right, we're going to go over to attack stuff. So Rhino is going to come attack, but Nick Fury is going to step in the way. Rhino is going to do four, five, and Nick Fury is going to go away again. Loki's going to attack. I have nothing to block against Loki, and I forgot to draw my cards. So I'm going to take two from Loki. I need to get my uh, five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, now we need our encounter card from Rhino. So our encounter card is hard to keep down. He's going to heal four. Okay, so he's going to heal up four. He is now back to seven. And we're back to the hero side. All right, we got one of our hammer throws. So that will end the game. So we do two, three. We're going to throw a hammer at Rhino. Uh, and we take Rhino out. Oh, <laughs> so close. Multiple rounds there. I probably should have lost, but... Ended up pulling it out in the, in the end there. So there we go. There's a Rhino win with the Thor Justice deck. Unexpert. So happy with that. I think at this point I'm ready to move up to Claw. We'll see how Claw and the Masters of Evil works out. I think that's going to make the Thor deck a little bit more happy. And I'm hoping that um, I'll get to do more of the Justice aspect of the Thor deck with, with that in play. So... Uh, if you saw any rules goofs, again, let me know. There's usually at least one per game. It just kind of happens that way. My kind of theory on the rules goof stuff is I think if I feel like I'm playing it right, then I'm enjoying the game, and um, it's it's that's what gives it value, right? I think I'm playing it right, and I'm getting through it correctly. If I go back afterwards and find a rules goof, I don't feel all that bad about it. They happen, but if I'm cheating the game then i feel really different about it like i know i'm missing rules while i'm playing the game that's a whole different aspect so while i'm playing i think i'm doing it correct and i get a lot of enjoyment out of that part of it even if later i do figure out that i've missed a rule but this was great it was really close i was kind of on the edge and it looks like we beat rhino so again if there's a rules goof let me know because i like to know when i don't do things right um so that way i can put it in the notes and other people don't think that I'm doing things right as they come across. So that's it for now. So the Thor Justice deck has two wins against Standard Rhino, one win and one loss against Expert Rhino. And I think we're going to step up to Claw and see how we handle Claw next. So thank you for watching.